Welcome to the R video tutorial on Introduction to Plotting in R. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to make some basic plots in R, such as histograms and box plots. All right, to get started, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have some data. So I'm going to import some data using uh, the read CSV syntax, and I'm going to print the data as well. So I'm just going to submit this so we can see what the data looks like in this raw format. All right, so that's submitted, and this is what the data looks like over here on the left in the console. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to know what the column names are. Now, you can scroll up to the top and look at that, or you can just submit the names function, and that will pull the names off of the data set so you can have the variable names. All right, so this data has to do with some biomass and organic matter. So one of the things I might want to do is just create a simple histogram. So that's what I'm going to do now. I come over here, and the syntax is very simple to do this. For a histogram, simply type the HIST function. And here I'm going to use column BM, which is biomass, out of the OD1 data set. That's what I read my data into. And then I can submit this to the console, and I will get a plot. All right, I have my plot of my biomass. And as you can see, that this data is clearly skewed to the right. However, this is a simple one. Another one that I might want to do is create a histogram for organic matter. And I can do that in a similar fashion as I did here. I'm going to use the HIST function again. And here, all I'm doing is OD1 is my data set, dollar sign OM, which is the variable name. And then I submit that to the console. And here I get a histogram of the data for organic matter. Now, one of the things I might want to do is actually have two plots next to each other. And R can do that. They can put two of them next to each other. You just have to know how to tell it. So going back and looking at my code, there's this function that I use before I plot, which is the PAR function and it sets parameters inside of R. But I like to think of it in this scenario is that it's partitioning my graphics window. And how you read this is don't worry about the MF row equals. Pay attention to the one and the two that's in there. One comma two. One means how many rows you want. Two means how many columns you want. So if there's one row with two columns, then my picture should be side by side. And we'll see if that works. I'm going to highlight this, submit it, and bingo. We have two plots side by side. There are two columns in one row of plots. Now, one thing I don't like about this plot that I'm looking at are my labels. My labels are very cryptic because they're actually what the values were in the data set. What I'd like to do is be able to change these. Now, what I've done is I've just taken the same idea as before. I'm going to put two pictures side by side using the PAR function. But what I want to do is change the labels. So in R, what you're going to do is you're going to add to your statement for hist. And this works on most of the graphics functions. There's what's called main. And here I have main equals biomass. And this will put the biomass word up at the header, up at the top of the picture. Now, when you see X lab or X label, this is the label that goes across the bottom. Notice I've changed the main to biomass and the X lab or the X label to biomass. And the next one, I've changed the main to organic matter and the X label to organic matter. So if I run this, Notice now I have the same plot that I had before, but now the labels are changed. Now it says biomass on the correct one, and along the X label it says biomass 
it says organic on the correct one and organic matter along the X label as well. Now that's what I wanted to do. Another type of plot that you may want to do is a box plot. Now to do a box plot, it's quite simple. You just use the box plot function and put in the variable that you're interested in. Now remember when you put in a variable, you need to put the data set and the column name. So I'm going to submit this to the console. And I get a box plot of my data. Now, this box plot is not per this box plot is not positioned sideways. It's sort of an up and down box plot, and this can be useful. But you can uh, there are options in R that you can change. Now, another thing I might want to do is create a box plot that goes across many groups. Create a side by side box plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still use the box plot function, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a tilde. And this tilde says, give me a box plot for biomass, but do it for each of these groups. And the groups that I have are called site loc, or sites and locations. So if I submit this to the console, okay, I get a side-by-side -side box plot by groups. I have group AB, AT, EB, ET. However, the labeling here isn't so good. So what I'd like to do is improve the labeling. So in this statement, I've added a main statement, which is biomass by site slash location, and I've named a Y label. So in this case, I've actually put a Y label on here using Y lab, and it's going to be biomass. And I'm going to submit this to the console. All right, so this is the side-by-side -side box plot I get. You can see I have biomass as my Y label. It labels the Y axis, and I have a better caption up at the top. Now, I could add an X label as well describing the groups, but I haven't done that here, but there's no reason why you couldn't do that. All right, so this has been an introduction to plotting in our video tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.